Hello and welcome, Wingnos 817. Welcome to the Walt Whitman Show. Lovely to see you. You're a maestro. Hello and welcome to you, Sandy, uh, Jonathan Sawyer from Great Britain. Hello, Spilone from Milan. How oh, lovely to see you. Oh, of course, the fireworks would be going up in California in the middle of the day. Artorical, hello. And Victoria, hello. Ollie, hello. It's so nice to have so many friends on Periscope, really. Rosie of Educate, hello. Bonsoir, Ollie. Alex, Daily TV, you're very welcome. You're very welcome. It be the time. And of course, on Independence Day, you kind of wonder whether there will be many people from North America on uh, on Periscope or visiting other people's Periscopes. Nandesan, hello Valerie. I hope I don't make mistakes with people's names. Nerpsy, hello. And you're from North America. And Rosie, you must say where you're from in North America. It's such a huge place, my goodness. Just to remind me, at least, and remind each other. Where exactly? You're going to be scoping the arsenal of fireworks. You'll be lighting tonight. Are you going to have your own firework display in your own place? Wingnut, is that what you... Gatica, Christian Gatica. Ah, Palm Beach Gardens in Florida. Wow, must be warm. Must be warm there. In your friend's sister's house. Oh, Jonathan, I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good, really. Yeah, oh, well, why not love the 4th of July? Why not love it? Christian, I'm not sure whether it's the first name or second name. Unin. They buy $2,000 worth of fireworks. Well, it obviously celebrating the independence from Great Britain. Christian, yeah, right. You're very warm, major thunderstorms in, in Florida now, today, on Palm Beach in Florida. Wow. Did I eat the strawberry? I did. Would you like a strawberry? Would anybody like a strawberry? I have some strawberries here. I could, um, I, uh, the old soothing voice. <laughs> Do you think I should have been a doctor? Do you think I could have had the old bedside manner and sent patients to sleep? <laughs> You'd like a strawberry. Well, just hold on now. Hold on. I'll get the strawberries. Okay, I've got some strawberries for you. Let me just show them to you first and have a good look at it. I can't see what you're saying, actually. I should turn it the other way around. Then I can see. Now, now I can see. So this is the remains of the, what we call a punish. I'll have a new follower. Oh, great. Oh, lovely. Have you got some cream? No, I don't have cream. Um, which one? Shall I eat this one? I'll try this one. Leslie, it was just beautiful dancing with you. It really was. You have such light feet. It was delightful. A dash of, absolutely, I couldn't agree more. A dash of balsamic. Absolutely. Love balsamic. Yes. Oh, to be on that bridge and you in my arms. Oh, what a gorgeous, gorgeous moment. Your mother used to serve strawberries dipped in sour cream and then in soft brown sugar. Oh, it's absolutely a thing to do. Oh, balsamic vinegar with them, uh, with strawberries. Not too much. And don't eat the strawberries for, what, about 20 minutes, ideally? Oh, yeah. 
I've had strawberries with lemon juice. Today I had them. Um, today I even had them. Um, I had strawberries with a tiny bit of salt. And the strawberries and the salt were put on top of French toast. Black pepper is. I haven't had them with black pepper. That's a good one. I haven't had strawberries and black pepper. I think I'll try one more. I haven't. I'm just about to start to read Walt Whitman. The trouble with people here, and being with people here. They think, they think they have the right to chat among themselves. They really, they think they can, they think they can just chat away and you wouldn't believe what they talk about. Oh, lovely Previn. Uh, absolutely, absolutely would adore a sake cup. They were just lovely. Of all the things that you brought back, it was the sake cups that I love most. Oh yes. You need to charge your phone for a bit. How long? Uh, I have been to the United States, yes. The last time I was in the United States was June of 2014 I went to I went to Chicago and in case any of you have come across her a wonderful woman great great friend of mine I met Boyd Jane there she's from Vancouver and she scopes did I hate Chicago the exact opposite I felt that I could have moved to Chicago Hal Sherman hello Hal it's lovely to see you here and thank you, by the way, for that wonderful link. You have your egg cup charged with gin. Wow. I'm thinking of stuffing mine. In fact, I'm going to do something with my egg cup. I'll be back in one second. But I, I absolutely love Chicago. Um, I could uh, talk for some length about Chicago. Um, Now I am here, I'm just doing something. I'll be with you in a second. Just have to do this um, carefully. Okay, tonight my egg cup is uh, strawberries, strawberries. Oh, Constantine, you want me to be quick and to read the read the Walt Whitman quickly? Okay. There we are. There we are. I'm going to read Walt Whitman now. We can chat after that. But the first, the most important thing is to read section seven of Walt Whitman, Song of Myself. In case any of you don't know who he is, this is the man. Um, in my view, the uh, the greatest of the American poets. So section 11 of uh, 52 sections of Walt Whitman, the so song of myself. Can I give you, uh, what would you like, Constantina, before I start? I just see people have invited followers, a strawberry, right? This one is for Constantina. Can you just open up, Constantina? Yeah, gotcha. Okay, here we go. 28 young men bathed by the shore. 28 young men and all so friendly. 28 years of womanly life and all so lonesome. She owns the fine house by the rise of the bank. She hides handsome and richly dressed after the blinds of the window. Which of the young men does she like the best? 
Ah, the homeliest of them is beautiful to her. Where are you off to, lady? For I see you, you splash in the water there, yet stay stock still in your room. Dancing and laughing along the beach came the 29th bather. The rest did not see her, but she saw them and loved them. The beards of the young men glistened with wet. It ran from their long hair. Little streams passed all over their bodies. An unseen hand also passed over their bodies. It descended tremblingly from their temples and ribs. The young men float on their backs. Their white bellies bulge to the sun. They do not ask who seizes fast to them. They do not know who puffs and declines with pendant and bending arch. They do not think whom they souse with spray. Sex, section 11, Song of Myself, which I am going to read again. Because as some of you will know, I'm an ardent believer that poetry needs to be read at least twice. Ideally, I would go so far as to say it must always be read aloud, but that would be to... I mean, I couldn't read a poem without reading it aloud. To me, I, I, I've now become... I, I, he was definitely admiring of the young men. Oh yes, the bathers. He was definitely admiring them. No question about that. Yes, Whitman wasn't one for admiring something without acknowledging his admiration. Here we go again. Section 11 of Walt Whitman's poem, Song of Myself, published first in 1855 in Leaves of Grass. And Nandesan says this, uh, Valerie says this is a poem about lust. We'll see. Let's see whether this is about lusting. Yes, yes, there is. Les Baigneurs. Les Baigneurs. It's by uh, somebody whose name begins with a P. Um, a pointillist, I think. Anyway, here we are. We'll go, uh, we'll go on. Go on. 28 young men bathe by the shore, 28 young men and all so friendly, 28 years of womanly life and all so lonesome. She owns the fine house by the rise of the bank. She hides handsome and richly dressed after the blinds of the window. Which of the young men does she like the best? Ah, the homeliest of them is beautiful to her. Where are you off to, lady? For I see you. You splash in the water there, yet stay stock still in your room. Dancing and laughing along the beach came the twenty-ninth bather. The rest did not see her, but she saw them and loved them. The beards of the young men glistened with wet. It ran from their long hair. Little streams passed all over their bodies. An unseen hand also passed over their bodies. It descended tremblingly from their temples and ribs. The young men float on their backs, their white Bellies bulge to the sun. They do not ask who seizes fast to them. They do not know who puffs and declines with pendant and bending arch. They do not think whom they souse with spray. They do not 